What is up guys, Apathy or Pro Player Apathy back in the building today, bringing you guys an MLG class setup video on Infinite Warfare. Now I haven't done one of these, a lot of people have been asking me to, you know, show your classes, Apathy, what class do you use, you know, what class should I use. And today I'll be doing a really detailed, you know, talking about all my classes, the ones that I have for SD and Respawn, basically a whole overview of everything. So this is going to be my MLG class setup video, we're going to go ahead and start with my first class, which is the K-Bar. I'm using the ELO site, some people like to use the red dot, or the reflex, I personally like the ELO. I just feel like you don't have that, you know, that square blocking your surroundings. You get to see around the map easier. And I'm using the lens. Some people like to use all these different ones: precision, precision, uh, the dot, the the dots. But I personally like the lens. You guys could give it a go and try them all out. I have grip, quick draw, rifle barrel, and stock. This is a stacked AR class. Now this is happening a lot due to uh, you know like tacticals not being as effective in this game, and you're just allowed to get away with this. And I'm all I'm running is tack resist and dead silence. Dead silence is a must. Uh, before I continue this video, almost every single class of yours should have dead silence. It's pretty much a must. It's the best perk to have on perk three. So this is my stacked a uh, K bar class. Now for my next class, we got the Erad, which is a sub. The Erad personally is the best sub in the game, in my opinion. A uh, really good other sub is the Evo, which is this one. The R uh, RPR Evo and the HPR is really good. I think those are the two second best subs. But the Erad, in my opinion, is the most consistent and best overall sub. Uh, I do not use stock on sub. I feel like the stock on sub in this game is just way too fast and it messes up with your shot. I've realized that the more I play the game, I'm like, there's no point in really using stock on subs. Like, it just messes up my shot. You know, I've been, I, I'm able to snap and hit my shots better when I'm not using stock. Yes, yeah, stock could be effective and it can help you win some gunfights, but you know, I'm going with this route. So right now, I'm just using quick draw, grip, and particle amp. Particle amp is basically long barrel from Black Ops 3. And I have Marksman on this class. Now, there's been a whole debate about Marksman. Does Marksman help? Is it good? Is it effective? In my opinion, Marksman does not help. I just have it on this class because it's sort of my stacked subclass. But really, uh, I do not use this class as much, I'll be honest with you. And on top of that, I have Tack Resist and Blast Shield, you know, just like in Respawn or S&D to make sure I can't get stunned or nated. And then this is going to be my second class, which see, no Marksman. This is, the, this is the main subclass I use usually. I have a Jammer Grenade. Now, Jammer Grenade is basically a stun, but on top of that, it EMPs them. So this is a little tip for you guys. Now, a lot of people run Tack Resist. You're going to see here, Counters, Jammer Grenade, Stun Effects. It, Another good stun is the blackout grenade, but the tag resist completely, completely stops the blackout grenade. So there's almost no point in running a blackout grenade unless somehow, for some reason, the person is not running tag mask, which most players are running tag mask. So a good way, a good thing to do is use a jammer grenade, which if somehow, for some reason, they do have tag mask, which they usually will, you still EMP them, you still like mess them up a little bit, their movement, their aiming system. So that's a really good thing to use. And then I'm using a Fletcher grenade. It's basically a Semtex. You just toss it, you can throw it on the ground, and it shoots like three nades, uh, just bounces up. Or if you direct impact someone, it'll just blow up on them. And it's just, it's fast. Semtex are pretty much banned in this game because they have like, they basically leave a trail of fire once they pop and they're pretty OP'd. So no, like Semtex is pretty much banned from CWO and for most uh, websites. So I use this grenade instead. I just feel like the cluster grenade just takes too long to throw and too long to pop. Cluster grenade's pretty good too. You know, it's up to you guys, but I just prefer a Fletcher grenade fast. Just like, just like my style. I like playing fast, being a fast player. For my next class, I got a K-Bar. Similar to the one I used, but this is less stacked, no long barrel. I think grip is really important on the K-Bar. And before I continue, the E-Rad, some people say grip is not really needed on E-Rad. Uh, a lot of tests have been done, and it's, it's not like that necessary, but I have it for now because I don't use stock, so I just stack it. I mean, there's other stuff you could put, like Fusion Mag to regenerate ammo, but or maybe even Laser Sight. So I don't know, I might test uh, around with that a little bit more, but I use K-Bar, like grip on K-Bar is pretty much needed. So this is like my more aggressive class, I guess you can say. No long barrel, you know, I'm more in their face. I have blast shield instead of long barrel and a fletcher grenade. This is good for like respawn, like hard point, you know, when you're constantly in the hill and challenging. And now for this class, my next, this class, oh my god, this class. We got the OSA. Now the OSA is a very, very underrated gun. And I mean very. A lot of people do not use it. Pro players are starting to catch up. Uh, I was one of the first pro players to start using it, and everyone, I was just destroying everyone, and now more people and more people are starting to use it. This gun is basically a submachine gun. It melts really fast, it lacks range, and that's the that's the main problem. From medium to long range, it, it just doesn't have that range damage, and it just recoils pretty bad. So this is more of an aggressive gun, sort of like the HVK, uh, or like, yeah, sort of like the HVK. 
uh, back in Black Ops 3. So this is a really effective gun. I, this is my play style for hard point because, you know, with the whole weapon draft system, John's using the sub, and I usually use the OSA as the second, as a third AR. You know, it's like aggressive, sort of like AR sub. And all I use is quick draw, grip, and, and stock. And the reason I'll use long barrel in this class, yeah, long barrel could help me get those, you know, long reach, you know, gunfights. But, it, like, in hard point... I'm going to be, you know, in the hill. I'm going to be aggressive with this class. So instead, I'd rather have Flak Jacket just in case it start nading me a lot. And I'd rather have a Fletcher Grenade, you know, so I can, like, pre-nade stuff or nade someone off a hill and stuff and stuff like that. So this is more, this is the class I mainly use for hardpoint. It's a really good class. You guys can go ahead and give it a go. And I use Dead Silence. Of course, like I said, I'll be using Dead Silence in every single class. Marksman, in my opinion, is not needed at all. It's it's pretty much a waste of two points if you really feel like it helps you you know like I said I have it on this class but I'm probably gonna take it out I'm probably gonna put like uh, just laser sight or something matter of fact you know I'm gonna do that right now just to prove to you guys how how like how much it does not help so for my next class I got the HVR now the HVR is weird it's a really good sub and then sometimes it's just inconsistent but it's a really really good close range sub now a lot of you guys know frost the low side wall run this is the gun people technically tell you to use because it helps you win that close range gunfight every time and this is a good gun just to be like really close range if you're gonna rush something and i use grip quick draw extended mags and, and rifled barrel it only has a 26 clip so extended mags puts it up to like 39 or something like that so it just 26 bullets is very little you know you can run out very quick so i basically just use four attachments no stock like i said and this blast shield attack resist death silence these are like the main three perks most people use a lot of people have been questioning momentum is momentum good should i be running momentum pro players asking is momentum even worth running i say no it sucks it's really bad you slide a lot you're gonna jump a lot you know it, it already it just stops the movement right away for now unless they buff it somehow it's pretty trash do not use it i, I mean if you if you want to use it you think it's working go ahead but i mean i'm just letting you guys know it's not that effective now for the vote class now i don't use the vote that much anymore uh you know like i said i usually i'm the third ar so i don't really use the vote and umg banned the vote so the only time i might use the vote is on gb tournaments and this is my class so it's got an elo quick draw stock and particle amp a grip apparently isn't really needed on this gun, so it's like it barely helps at all. Like it's probably like a five percent, like a very minuscule, very minuscule difference. So it's almost no point of running grip at all. So I just run these four attachments, then dead silence, tack resist, and blast shield, of course. And I just run a jammer grenade. Like I said, jammer grenades are really effective, even if they have tack resist. Yes. It might not stun them, but they will still get EMP'd, and it still helps you in some sort of way, rather than throwing a blackout grenade and just doing absolutely nothing with it. So the Volk is a very op gun. Low-key needs to be nerfed. That's why UMG banned it, and it's just a very online gun. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays on land if, if we decide to keep it or if it doesn't get nerfed. But that's my class. This is the class I would recommend you to run if, you were, if you're going to run it. And now for my last class, before I go, we got the NV4. Now, the NV4 is such... I want to say underrated. Well, it started off underrated, and then a lot of people started using it, and they realized how good this gun is. This gun is really, really, really good. This is, like, the most consistent AR. Just good medium to long to close range. Kills at a good speed. Has no recoil. Has a lot of range. And it's an overall good gun. Now, grip. I've done some testing. Grip doesn't really help this gun much either. You can put it, if you want, sort of like this as a stack class. Uh, you know, another thing you could do, oh, I, I messed up, put grip. Another thing you could do, some people tend to do, is instead of tack, they put a blast shield. But I like to put tack resist because getting nade in this game is very hard, unless maybe in hard point. But if you're using an NV4, there's a chance you're not going to be, you know, up close and like maybe in the, you'll be in the hill sometimes. But my point is you can play around with this. If you're getting nade too much, make sure to have, two, let's say, have two NV4 classes, just like this, copy and paste. We're going to have two NV4 classes. One will be attack resist and one will be a blast shield just like that and since you have a lot of classes you can get away with this easily you know if you're starting to get native for some reason a lot you just put out blast shield but you know i don't really recommend you to have a grip on it it's not really effective i'd rather just do this uh just run a jammer grenade just have uh elo or, or reflex sight quick draw stock and rifle barrel and then either run a jammer grenade or a fletcher grenade you know, either or, you can mess around with that too, depending on your team. Maybe your team already has so many nades that you could put on a jammer grenade to, like, compensate for that. But, yeah, guys, that's been all my classes. I only have eight classes. Uh, I don't really use much. You know, it's this game is pretty much basic for now. Uh, the perks are pretty simple. You know, I have, like, the same perks for everything. Uh, the nades and stuns are pretty much the same. So it's not, not like, a big reason for me to have any more. I mean, I could probably fill out uh, these, like, classes with something else. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I try to explain everything pretty detailed. Hope you guys learned something. Checked out my classes. You know, you could go ahead and give them a go. Check out the guns. Uh, 
This is me trying to help you out, give you some tips. I'm going to try to keep bringing some YouTube tips and videos to my channel, helping you guys out, helping the community out, helping out anyone who needs help or wants to improve. This has been your boy, Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.